What are your thoughts heading into tomorrow's game, playing Winnipeg, needing one goal to set the franchise record for goals scored? Are you thinking about it? I mean, yeah, I mean, there, you obviously got some texts and from people congratulating you on tying it, but um, I think everyone was pretty disappointed in the way that the game ended up last night. We had an opportunity to to get the, the home stand really going in the right direction and kind of drop the ball. Yeah, okay, let's start with goal one, and then we'll work our way all the way up to 379. Okay, You said you said to me the other day that you remember the first goal. What do you remember about that? Walk me through that. Um, the, I remember the game being we were losing to Chicago, actually. We were losing 4-2 four, four to Chicago, and I I was terrible. Like I, I mean, I remember sitting on the bench thinking that I, you know, questioning if you could play and all the things that go along with that. Getting the puck that kind of came down and cut across the blue line to my right. And took a shot back against the green kind of off the post and in and one of those goals that you're pretty excited about. But at the same time, it only made it 4-3. And then Tame was scored to tie it with like 18 seconds left to make it 4-4 and we won it in overtime. You still have that puck? I'm sure someone has it somewhere. <laughs> Shane, what are your thoughts on Dale Howardchuk? Obviously, you grew up, I know you were an Oilers fan, and you're from Alberta, but Dale played just one province over yeah. and was very accomplished. Two. two, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's very accomplished. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's one of those guys that um, everybody in, in hockey appreciated so much when he played. He's such an unbelievable offensive talent and what he did in Winnipeg with him and Steve Thomas and there was a group of them that were incredible and uh, they had so much success and it was kind of overshadowed by what was going on in Edmonton at the time but um, it was it was pretty remarkable to see how how good he was and how successful they were and uh, as a I remember them beating the Flames in the in the one series it was a big series Dave Allett who lives here in the Valley scored a big goal in the in the series and uh, how much I loved that because I didn't like the Flames at the time because I was an Oilers fan. We all think it would be really cool if you did this tomorrow. Uh, can you make that happen? Yeah, yeah that, I would be happy to score tomorrow if I could. That would be gives us a better chance to win. And if we that's, that's, we got to get going before this road trip starts and find a way to win. Aside from that first goal, can you are there a couple of memorable ones along the way that that really stand out for you? Um, yeah, I mean the, there's. You find, you know, there's a few different ones, different situations. I think you remember your first goal. You remember your first playoff goal. Um, you remember any goal that's kind of of significance along those ways with the team winning or if you're able to contribute. Um, stuff like that you remember for sure. The first hat trick, I assume you remember, with, with the do. stick. Yeah, uh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Ray will never ever let me forget the fact that he set me up for that goal. And yeah, I remember that. He turned to go and I was so tired because Tip had left me out there for a lot. So I um, had, had a lot of opportunities and didn't think I had very much energy left, but Ray was going. So I figured I'd try to keep up to the old guy. So uh, it was fun.